Hey everybody, this video brings us out to York, Pennsylvania to check out something pretty awesome. This is a house in the shape of a shoe. This is the Haynes Shoe House built in 1949 as a way to actually advertise the Haynes Shoe Company. This is really, really neat. And unfortunately, it's the last week of this being in existence, sort of. The house is not being torn down, but they're not turning it in, or they're, they're turning it into an Airbnb. This will not be something you can actually come out and tour anymore. This will be something you have to pay to stay in, which is still kind of interesting, kind of neat. In fact, depending on what the pricing is, we might have to do that someday. I would love to actually see, sleep in the shoe house. See, she shall, she shall, down by the seashore. I would love to sleep in the shoe house someday. That'd be really, really awesome. But for now, as far as tours are concerned, they're only doing self-guided tours. They actually used to take you on a, a full uh, guided tour here where they would go through the, the whole house, tell you all about, all about the history of it. But nowadays, unfortunately, since this place has one week to survive as a tourist attraction, they are no longer doing that. It's a self-guided tour, but we will be going inside. We will be checking that out anyway. We already paid our, and got our tickets. We're gonna be going inside, but I wanna show you guys this. So not only is there a shoe house, there's also a shoe dog house. Look at this. Look, it's a dog house. In 1949, um, Countess, the Great Dane, stayed here. She was uh, uh, she was company to the guests while they stayed at the Hange Shoe House. So, originally, this actually was a uh, like a, an air well, an air a 1950s Airbnb, whatever they would have called them back then. It was a, it was a place where you could rent it out and stay here for the night, which is pretty cool. So it's kind of going back to what it originally was, but. I kind of miss it being a tourist attraction. It's kind of a shame that now you will have to actually pay money to stay here as opposed to just paying five bucks to come and take a tour. Look at that, there's a there's a puppy dog right there. You actually see inside it. Pretty, I mean, that's a pretty spacious dog house. I she was a Great Dane. That's true, I guess, I guess as a Great Dane, you do need your space, but that's awesome. Coolest dog house ever. So this place is pretty neat. It's pretty epic. We've been out here a couple times before. So like I said, we are gonna go inside. We are, we are gonna actually check out the shoe house. Everybody's already going inside. And self-guided tours here right now. But look at this. It is so cool. All the stained glass windows. How cool is that? Yes, they've all got shoes. Right here is actually now the gift shop and ice cream store. It used to be a carport where you would obviously, well, park your car. So you used to be able to park your car right underneath the um, the shoe. I would love to see it go back to that. How cool would that be if uh, missed I missed all the footprints? Where? Oh, there are. I didn't, I didn't even see those. There are footprints here. There's boots out here as well. Because there's, there's a boot flower pot, which is pretty awesome. There's real boots. Those That's are real. Those are real boots. Yeah. Those are pretty cool. All right, now we're gonna go actually go inside the shoe house. Mm -hmm. Look at that. There's Mr. Uh, Haynes right there. I guess that is pretty cool. That's some really neat uh, stained glass. All right, I'm gonna open it up. Um, yeah. You got you got you got to press the handle. There we go. So anyway, guys, we are now inside the shoe house. The Haynes shoe house look at this there's mr haynes right there there's a stained glass oh you can see the stained glass on this so much better from this side which is kind of weird i think it'd be the way around that is really cool so people are already in here looking around doing their tours we're in the front of the shoe right now there's all kinds of um, interesting tchotchkes and old uh souvenirs and whatnot which is pretty cool i want a shoehorn i want a haynes shoehorn Actually, I still, I still, I will fully admit, I use a shoehorn. Shoe, shoehorns are great. You put on like nice dress shoes. You don't want your socks to get all messed up. You use a shoehorn. I, I got one that's on a stick, so I don't even have to like bend down. It's like, it's perfect. I'm an old man. I got, I inherited it from my dad. Look at the, uh, the stained glass windows there. That's pretty awesome. There's all kinds of cool stuff here. Shots from back in the day. They even have. They what? Oh, they have two two old magazines here. Yes, look at that from 1944, and that's a newspaper. What's the year on this one? 1967. That is pretty cool. Nice. All kinds of awesome stuff here. The pictures are really, really neat. See, so you self guided tours here. This place is pretty awesome. We're actually in the front of the shoe right now. Kind of heading more in towards the, uh, the the center, I guess now of the, of the uh, shoe. Look at this old um, and amazing bathroom. Uh, we need it's to. Pretty nice. We, we kind of we have so we have tiles. I bet if we clean the tiles in the bathroom, the the one upstairs we need to like renovate. They would probably shine like this. Maybe then we could do some like black accents. Maybe. 
thoughts. I, I love the old school bathroom here. This, this is so cool with the old tile work. How neat is that? It's teeny, it's tiny, but it's, it's functional. It does its job and soon I can pee right here if we pay enough money. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really hoping it's not too expensive because if it's not, we're, we're definitely staying here. This is awesome. Look at all the different souvenirs. Oh my gosh, you got pennants and uh, postcards. Look at the salt and pepper shakers. Those are pretty cool. Again, I wish they would sell, actually sell shoehorns here. I don't think they do down in the gift shop. I did not see a shoehorn. They, they sold shoehorns. I would totally buy a shoehorn. All kinds of other interesting souvenirs. Oh, there's um, like a cool little necklace. That's pretty. See, I, this, is why it, this is why it saddens me that places like this are shutting down because I miss the days of all these cool roadside attractions and, and traveling to see these. Nowadays, people just want to sit around, play on their phones, yeah. play video games. They don't want to actually leave their house and go anywhere. But back in the day, I mean, this was like a tourist attraction. This was a thing you could actually like see and do and come out to. And this is something people like would travel to and, and experience. They had all kinds of really awesome uh, souvenirs. There's pencils back there, all kinds of cool stuff. I play video games, but I still like like when I go to grandma and grandpa's like grandma, oh, there's, grandpa. There's 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 nothing there's 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 there. nothing wrong with playing video games in moderation. But you got to get out. You got to come see things. You got to you got to explore. That's that's something you have you have to do. And, and that's why I love tourist attractions. And it's really sad to see tourist attractions like this again not being tourist attractions anymore and becoming an Airbnb, which it's still cool. I'm glad this place is still going to exist. I'm glad it's turning into an Airbnb and not just getting like torn down. That's yeah, awesome. But it's the alternative, unfortunately. That, it is the alternative. So I'm glad it's going to still exist, but I really wish it was just, again, going to actually remain a tourist attraction. So we're going to head over top of the uh, carport right now. I believe we're actually walking like over underneath where you would have parked your car back in the day, heading towards the back of the shoe. Look at all the different dogs up here. All kinds of interesting stuff. More uh, memorabilia. Look at the old uh, coffee mugs. There's a uh, cat's meow. Look at that. Pretty awesome. So this is the uh, kitchen. I think we're actually in the heel now of the uh, the shoe house. This kitchen is really awesome as well. Look at the old stove. I would assume they'll they'll have to modernize this. I'm guess guessing. I mean, not the sink, but the stove probably. I'd be willing to, I don't know. I wonder if, this, if you can use it. They could also say you just can't. That's it. right. Maybe they don't want to use the stove. I don't know. I wonder if this will, I wonder if that old, awesome, amazing stove will actually come out and they'll replace it. I would assume the sink and everything can stay. It's probably self functioning and, and perfectly fine. But that looks like it's something that they have to replace, unfortunately. Well, they could restore it. Uh, they could. Look at this old table. That's really awesome. You can still sit down, though. I'm loving this. I know. The, the uh, little like kitchen nook here is really, really cool. I wonder, ooh, what's behind the do not open? Door. I kind of want to open it up and find out. We're not going. We're not going to. No. There's more souvenirs. Oh, this is stuff you can get right now. I'm gonna have to get myself a, a pin and maybe a keychain. I already. We already have a magnet, but I might buy another one anyway. They've got stickers. Oh, we will be buying. We will be buying tchotchkes before we leave. There's Yorkopoly, which features the uh, the shoe house. That's really cool. Yeah, bud. Are there postcards? Oh, there are postcards. You want a postcard? Yeah, yes. we'll, we'll get you a postcard. Most of the time, like when we go, like to a place or like oh, something yeah. like like one we'll, time we'll, we'll get like, we'll get you a like, we will get you a postcard. Don't worry about it. We'll get you a postcard. Look at the old refrigerator. So wow. Well, I mean they're not real it's, things. It's fake stuff. That that's really awesome. The old General Electric refrigerator how cool is that sorry now we're gonna go upstairs yes no, there's a sec oh wait there's people coming down we will be going up to the uh, second floor of the shoe house oh the more the more stained glass here yeah there's stained glass everywhere inside the shoe house which is really really awesome and more and more different like tchotchkes and stuff the, the fans that's so cool look at the old uh is that like a i don't know uh, sweater i'm guessing um, no that's like a sweater that's a sweatshirt yeah Oh, did the people come down then? Oh, they went to the other room. All right, so we're gonna go upstairs now to the second floor. So I'm gonna go up this way first, I guess. Let's look at this. We're actually going up, going up top of the shoe now. There's another bathroom over here. They got the sink kind of out in the hallway. And then look at the old shoe house mailbox. That's pretty cool. Bathroom in here, with the amazing tile work. There's just a shower in here, no bathtub. So bathtub downstairs, shower upstairs. This is really cool. Clearly no room for a uh, sink in here. That's why it's, why it's in the, uh, hallway. the hallway, but it works. There's another little, another little back bedroom here. Yeah, you can measure your, that? that's so you can see what size um, shoe you wear. Oh. You would take your shoe off, put it in there, and put your foot in there, 
and it measures your, your foot. Don't do it. Yeah, don't, no, do not use that. <laughs> More pictures up here as well. Look at that, the shoe house boat, uh, float. That's really cool. Are those baby shoes? Wait, um, Are they women? I don't know, those are tiny little, tiny little shoes. Hanes, or, yeah, Hanes the shoe wizard, I like that. Some yeah, shoes. that's pretty cool. Look at the old, uh, what is that, the vacuum cleaner there? I'm guessing. Yeah. That's pretty Either neat. A vacuum or like a dust I, I just, I, I, want, I want to hang this in our, our bedroom, the uh, a picture of the, the actual shoe house. That's cool. Or a painting of the shoe house. That's pretty awesome. All right, so uh, bedroom number, whatever this is here. And there's a bedroom back here as well. This is the one you gotta be careful on because I bumped my head the last time I was here. They literally warn you. They say, they say, warning, watch your head. And what did I do last time I was here? Smack my head right into this. So, so be very careful. This is on a slant right now. Look at this cool, cool closet. That's neat. Does it go somewhere? There's like a, no, it's just a random little step right there. All kinds of other like tchotchkes. Looks like um, some kind of awards. I don't know what these awards were for. Does it say? I don't, I don't think so. We read the packet. Maybe, <laughs> yeah, we read the packet maybe, but there's, there's all kinds of um, awards there. Got another little bedroom back here. All kinds of other little tchotchkes and souvenirs. Oh, I want this. They don't have this down in the, oh, the souvenir shop. No. Oh, I want a, I want a Hanes shoe house trucker hat. That would be cool. I would totally rock that. So we got to watch our head. There's a, um, a cabinet here, very dirty, mirror, very dirty cultural. mirror with a with a medicine cabinet, another little sink. There's built-in drawers into the wall. I mean, that's a that's a genius idea. I'm bumping my head already. That's a genius idea. I, I love like um, space saving things like that yeah. where look, they go, they say, okay, we've got this like little like area on the wall here because maybe there's like pipes or something to run back here, but right here there's probably nothing in the wall. Why not? Why, why just put a wall? Why not use it? And they they did. That's really cool. And then here you can actually see like the inner workings of the shoe house. Again, this is the front of the shoe. We're at the um, front again. And you can see right there, uh, right below us was where that uh, front living room was. This is the inner workings of what the actual shoe house looks like. That's pretty cool. That is neat. And I know, man, I'm gonna bump my head again. I don't wanna, this is gonna be your room. If we, if we stay here, mommy and daddy will sleep in the bigger room downstairs or something. You can sleep up here. Cause you don't, you're not gonna bump your head, right? You're, you'll be good. Look at the old fur coat. Wow, this thing is, wow, that is, that is, that is, he, that is heavy. That is heavy and stiff. I would not, I mean, it would keep you nice and warm, I guess. This is the, oh, this is the shoelace room. Oh, this is the um, chauffeur's bedroom? Is that what it says? Yeah, so we're underneath the shoelaces right now. Ah, oh, the chauffeur had her own sink. And then up here was the, uh, the maids and cooks room. I'm now just noticing all these different signs. So it was probably like a bed and breakfast type situation. Yes, yeah, so, well, that's what it was. It was a bed and breakfast back in the day, which is what it's going, kind of going back to now, which is, you know, which is good, which is, which is good. I'm, I'm glad it's not being torn down. Landing uh, by this uh, display case, pretty awesome. So, all right, guys, this is really awesome. This is really cool. The Haynes Shoe House here in York, Pennsylvania. Definitely something you guys would come out to and check out. Very cool to do a um, like a self guided tour. So we're we have we have a bottleneck right now. You guys can come up. We're, we're gonna go down. So <laughs> yeah, this is totally awesome. I do wish they were still doing guided tours out here, but I mean, again, it is it is what it is. There's like a week left of this place existing. Watch your head again. You got like a week left of this place existing. So you want to come out here and check this place out? You got to do it like kind of immediately. Ow. Uh, tight, tight quarters here in the uh, in the shoe house. So I definitely want to go buy um, some souvenirs. That is definitely something I want. I want to do. I want to. I don't know. Again, um, stickers, magnets, all kinds of stuff like that. When you built it, those trees out there were oh, growing. What did you guys think up there? Oh, it, was, it was awesome. We had, we had so we had so much fun. It was so cool. Oh, good, good. Probably probably do another another round quick or something like that. Okay, sure you can. Yeah. Look at this. So, they got uh, they've got know, stickers. The they've got po oh, what postcard do you like, buddy? You want this one? They're two for a dollar. You can get two. It is busy here this weekend. What's what's other one do you like? This one. All right, there you go. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get two stickers because why not? 
Oh, so, I've never seen this place so busy. I think because I think it's shutting down, everybody wants to come out here. They have non-trigger hats. Okay. I'm not a, yeah, like a baseball cap. That's pretty awesome. All right, so grabbing stickers. You're grabbing, you got the postcards. We actually already have a magnet for the van for Vanabelle that we got you last time, so I'm gonna be uh, good with that. I didn't pick up a pin last time I was here, though. That's, that's new. They didn't have pins last time. So I'm grabbing a pin for my pin collection, and I'm thinking... Does Brittany need a mug for her mug collection? I have so many. You gotta oh. But do you have a shoe house mug? I'm thinking I'm buying Brittany a shoe house mug for her uh, for her mug collection. Are, they, are these ones in the the box here? Oh yes. You're getting one. You got you gotta have a a, a shoe house mug for your for your mug collection. It's so, all right. That's everything we're buying. All right. Cool. You know what? I'm gonna put this right here. I'll be right back. I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna buy this stuff. I'm gonna end the video out here, guys. So that's awesome. Again, Hange Shoe House here in York, Pennsylvania. This place is hopping right now. There are tons of people out here. This is the most I've never I've never seen this many people here. I've never seen people parking in the grass before. This is a, a complete first, but I think everybody wants to get out here and see the shoe house one last time while you can still go in it, while you can still take a tour of the shoe house, because again, it is um, gonna be turned into an Airbnb within a couple of weeks, unfortunately. Well, not, can I, see, I, I keep wanting to say, unfortunately, it's not unfortunate. It is, it is awesome that they're still keeping this place. It will still be around. You can still come out here. You can still experience this, even if only as an Airbnb. It is so cool that it will still be something you can actually come out and see. You can spend your money, actually stay in the shoe house. If the pricing isn't too crazy, we will definitely be doing that. I'm gonna have to stay in the shoe house. I wanna sleep in this shoe house. That is something absolutely 100%. I will be doing again if the price is uh the price is not too crazy i'll be staying here so pretty awesome again sad it's not a tourist attraction anymore sad you can't come out here and do guided tours anymore but it is what it is how to get out here it is shutting down so how to get out here i also want to show you guys really quick there's another shoe mailbox out here look at this Ooh, looks like there was birds nesting in there at at one point there's there's definitely a bird's nest in there how cool is that but all right guys that is it gonna go back inside with my family. I'm gonna buy some souvenirs, buy a pin, buy some postcards, buy a sticker, buy a mug. Who knows? Maybe I'll grab a t-shirt as well. I don't know. Gonna spend some money. I wanna show my support. Even though they are shutting down, I still wanna show my support. And I recommend you guys do that. If you guys have interesting, just unique roadside attractions like this, get out there. Go check it out. Show your support. Buy some souvenirs. Buy some food. Buy some ice cream. Take a tour. Give them your hard-earned money because these places need it. Without your money, these places will either shut down, they'll be de demolished, they'll turn into the Airbnbs, which again, isn't the worst thing. As far as, you know, as far as scenarios are concerned, this turning into an Airbnb, it's a pretty good scenario. It's not the worst case scenario. It's probably the best case scenario for something like this. But I have been to so many different roadside attractions over the last couple of years that have literally, literally been torn down. They haven't just shut down and turned into something else. They have been torn down and they no longer exist. There's something you can't actually see anymore. So again, if you guys have something out here in your area that you love like this, go check it out. Give them your support. Give them your money because we need to keep places like this alive. We need to keep awesome roadside attractions going so our gener so so our generation the next generation our kids kids can get out here and see cool stuff like this but all right guys i'm gonna go so like i said gonna go back inside gonna buy some um, souvenirs and i will see you guys in the next video again here in york pennsylvania haynes shoe house totally awesome totally cool and yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna go back inside and take another tour without filming so all right i'll see you guys next video have a good one guys i love this kind of stuff all right bye